Hi Sagittarius, welcome, welcome back. This is a reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon and Rising. Um, you might find it resonates more though if this is your Moon or Rising sign. Okay, we have the Seven of Pentacles reversed, the Four of Cups, the Page of Pentacles, gosh, and the Tower. Okay, so Sagittarius, it looks like something you've been hoping for, waiting for, is coming in and it's going to change everything instantly after a period of what has felt like maybe things have been ticking over nicely, but it's been the same for a while. Suddenly everything's going to change. We've got Scorpio energy here. I also feel that it might be an offer that's coming in that you weren't either thinking about or looking for, but it comes in and you suddenly realize, wow, I really want to accept this. I really want to go down whatever path this is opening up for me. It might feel like a bit of a gamble, but I think it's something you're going to want to do. It could be something to do, as I said at the start, you know, with love and romance, with this Four of Cups, someone you are already thinking of, someone <clears throat> you have a past, a history with. I'm hearing Taurus specifically for somebody. Um, there's been a feeling of beauty, um, attraction, aesthetics, um, indulgence, lust, maybe a lot of like um, devil energy, you know, kind of like when the highs are high, it's great and the lows are really low or there, there's some deep, um, intense attraction here. But nothing has been moving recently in the way that you wanted or there's something specific you've been wanting to move forward, but it, it just it hasn't been coming through and it will come through. Yes, we've got the King of Cups reversed. Um, so you could have been dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. There's kind of like, there's the energy of Taurus here that I'm feeling, but also this heavy Scorpionic energy as well. We have the Eight of Swords reversed. The Five of Cups. We have the Six of Wands and the King of Swords. Yeah, okay, Sagittarius, the message here is, is that something here is going to change things instantly like you know overnight for you we could even say overnight success with this six of wands because whatever's coming in and we'll have more of a look at this page of pentacles in a moment it's taking you out of a place of feeling like the only answers you, you're going to get are the ones that you have to create for yourself based on um assumption intuition logic um and feeling a sense of lost potential or um sadness and you know there's, n there's nothing more I can do in this situation, taking you from those thoughts and feelings into there's fast communication, there's clarity, there's honesty here, there's there's clarity about where we're going, there's, there's insight, and I feel recognised, seen and successful. And it's all because of this page of pentacles. So let's see what's going on with this. I think with this king of cups reversed, you could have been dealing with someone who's been emotionally closed off. They've been very controlling of their emotions and how much they show you. They could have even been a bit emotionally controlling within this connection and, and tried to control you through your emotions and how quickly things move forward. This could also be someone who was surprised by how deeply they felt for you and that scared them. So they pulled their emotions back and it kept things stuck in a particular place here. Clarify this page of pentacles, please, for Sagittarius. There's something that feels quite un Sagittarius like about this reading. I don't know if there's something about this connection that makes you feel like a different version of yourself or you look back in, at, 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 you know, how things have unfolded so far and you kind of feel like you don't recognise yourself, whether that's in a positive way or a negative way. Maybe it's a mixture of both. But yeah, there's there's something here that... I don't know. I think it would be easy for me to get that I was doing a reading for Sagittarius. Okay. Four of Pentacles. So this is an offer that someone's been holding on to. And I don't think it's it's you. I think it's someone else. Yeah. Seven of Wands. Someone who's been defensive. Someone who's been protective of their heart space. Someone who's coming from a place of fear. I just heard the word conditioning. So this could be conditioning from childhood. Whatever that conditioning is that made it difficult for you to get on the same page or for them to understand that you weren't, you know, it's not, this connection is not a threat or um, maybe they come in with, you know, into every situation in life with negative expectations or something like that. So I think you've had a really tough time trying to get to this person's heart heart space, to their emotions, um, to any kind of vulnerable space. What else about this page of pentacles, please? 
page of cups reversed okay so if there's been a disconnect you've not heard from them for some time there's going to be a reconnection they're probably going to reach out to you but again you know this person that how they want to come forward is as a page of cups they want to bring you this um soft gentle emotional part of themselves but they're still afraid to do this so they're coming in as a page but it's the page of pentacles it's got a practical edge so they could be um offering something suggesting something asking you for advice about something um maybe they're going to going to write to you and say oh that bar that we had our eye on it's um just opened or that restaurant do you want to go whereas what they really mean is i've missed you you know and maybe with with the page of cups it can be an apology i'm sorry for such and such or whatever it is but it's like they feel too vulnerable coming in in an emotional way so there's a practical edge to this but nonetheless i think it's a message an opportunity an offer that makes you feel seen and recognized and it feels like a huge huge breakthrough after you know maybe for some of you quite a while here um and if you are if you have been in communication anyway um with this person throughout it's just maybe you, you it's like you're hitting a brick wall it got to a point and it felt like well the communication is not going to evolve past this point um i'm never going to break through to this person's heart space they're always going to be a bit closed off or they're always going to be avoidant i'm seeing someone you know if you go to watch or watch on tv a boxing match and the two people in the boxing ring sort of um move around each other you know it's almost like this person's been sidestepping your attempts to really get to know them or, or to get to the, the crux of what's going on and the emotions Okay, so let's get some message cards for you, Sagittarius, from this person. I know it, wow, I know if I continue to ignore you, I could lose you. You'll hear from me within a relatively short time. I think of you and want you just as much as you want me, trust me. So, okay, page of pentacles, there we go. That's them knowing I've got to do something, I've got to say something. Okay, I feel really uncomfortable being a page of cups. I'll be a page of pentacles. I'll make this, you know, a practical reason or I'll come up with an excuse that's practical to at least initiate communication. And I think as soon as they do, you're here as the king of swords, ready to go. You've got things you've been wanting to say. Um, yeah, a relatively short time, as I said, I, whenever you find this, I'm looking at the next couple of weeks out. So it could be within the next two weeks, whether that's tomorrow, today, or at the end of the two week period. Um, some of my friends and or family don't approve of you, but I don't care. I'll be mourning those people if they don't come around to back me up on what truly makes me happy. I know, I know it will be sad, but for the best. So that could be where that word conditioning came through, something about family. Um, and how your person was raised or what beliefs they've been holding on to. Don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. I know this must bother you, but I plan to include you in my life and take this to the next level as soon as I can. Please just trust me and give me more time. Whatever you heard or are about to hear, if it hurt you, know that it was not true. It's fake news, a misunderstanding, or you're just not getting the whole story. Trust me, I'll explain later. So maybe that's what you're wanting to, to clear up here with this King of Swords energy. And it does seem to me you're going to be pleased with whatever you hear with the Six of Wands. For some of you, there's really something about family. I'm looking at the, the number fours I can see in this card. Um, it's almost like when you have this this message or this particular interaction with your person, you're going to feel a sense of victory, like all oh, these spiteful family members or these family members who said we couldn't be together because we're from different backgrounds or different religions or cultures. We have succeeded. I have been victorious over them and their low vibrations or, you know, and, and what they've been saying or that sort of thing. You still take my breath away. Lying was just easier for me than telling you the truth. The thought of you still does things to me. So clearly, you know, they do still think of you. Um, there are still so many unsaid things between us, which you definitely are aware of. They don't need to, you know, remind you of that. Okay, so let's finish up with a message of guidance and advice for you, Sagittarius, from Spirit. message do we have for Sagittarius please? Tiger you are being called upon to provide leadership so trust that you are capable of doing so wow okay so this there's a lot of power in this card so this could be you know taking control of this situation and moving it forward um 
I see you doing that, even though your person's coming in as a page, it's not like you're saying, okay, I'll communicate with you, I'll interact with you at that level. You're bringing them straight up to the level of a king. You're like, no, look, I'm a tiger. I'm not gonna prance around pretending I'm a duck, okay? <laughs> if you're going to interact with me, you need to be, you need to be on, on the same level um, because I've been waiting. Also, in any other area of your life, you know, if you're feeling like it's time to push forward, it's time to become the teacher instead of the student, it's time to um, initiate something, begin something, that's absolute confirmation to go for it. Okay, so I'm going to leave this here, Sagittarius. So I hope this helped, I hope it resonated. Thank you so much for being here and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Okay, bye.